Welcome to the Dairy Church Kitchen. Today we're going to do a marinade for flank steak. Flank steak is normally a very tough um, piece of beef, but with the, with the marinade that we have, it's fabulous. My mother-in-law gave me this recipe. I think she probably made it for, you know, the dinner club at church, but it was one of our favorites at uh, our home. And this is the flank steak. And what you're gonna wanna do first is you can, you wanna break up the membrane. So you can use one of your meat tenderizers and beat it. See how you're forming these holes? Do that on both sides. Or a real fun thing for children to help you in the kitchen is before I had a meat tenderizer, you can just use a fork and just keep stabbing and going on with this. Now we like to have marinate our steak for about overnight 24 to 48 hours. The longer you marinate it, the more tender it gets. What you wanna do is mix all your marinade and then um, put your steak in. What we're gonna do today, instead of putting it in a 13 by nine pan to marinade, we're gonna actually use a number 10 pan, aluminum can, and a Ziploc bag. We do this at home with buy several steaks at a time, and this way I can line the cans up and we can um, have an assembly line and you put everything in here Take as much air out as possible and you freeze it. You let it marinate in your refrigerator for a day. Put it in your freezer until you want to use it. Take it out, put it in your refrigerator so that way you do have almost two days of marinade. It's also nice for traveling if you're going to the beach and have to take your own meals. You can freeze these ahead of time, put them in your cooler, and they're ready for your first meal when you get to the beach. What we're gonna use is um, a half a cup of oil, olive oil. We're gonna put that in our container. And we're going to use a fourth of a cup of lemon juice, which is, Kathy said, four tablespoons, but it's actually a fourth of a cup, which is easier to measure out, I think. And we're gonna also use a fourth of a cup of soy sauce. I like to use a light sauce because we're going to be using um, some celery salt, and I don't think you need all that salt. So we'll put a half of a fourth of a cup of that pour it in your bag and now we're going to start putting our seasonings in we have celery salt that's two teaspoons of celery salt two teaspoons of garlic of uh, powdered garlic Two tablespoons of dry onion. And two teaspoons of black pepper. And you can mix that all around. So it's nice and, you know, mixed. Put that back in your number 10 can, take our flank steak, put that in there, bring this out. So you don't cut the meat in pieces before you? No. Okay. You, um, after this is marinated, for your liking, you'll put it on a 
your grill and put the, the steak on the hottest part of the grill for one to two minutes on each side. And then you're going to, um, after that, you'll put it in the, um, where the lower heat of the grill. And Gary likes to cook it until the thickest part of your steak is 150 degrees. Bring it off the grill. See, I'm pressing all the, as much fluid out of there as I, air as I can. And then you put it on your grill until 150 degrees. You bring it back, you put it on a platter, let it set for 10 minutes. And when you're cutting it, you cut it in thin pieces and on a di diagonal. This is also very good if you have leftovers to eat cold. And I have an example of the finished product here. And there is your finished product. Now, if you do plan to use it, you know, the, after, the day after marinating, you can do it in your 13 by nine pan. If you're gonna freeze it, you freeze it in a Ziploc bag and you could probably even double the, double bag it if you like and get it out, defrost it in your refrigerator. Remember, Jesus and germs are everywhere. Wash your hands and say your prayers.